Hi guys, my name is Borut Peterlin and uh, the other day I saw a post by Mark Osterman. Uh, he he had done one really beautiful print uh, using the split toning technique. So I googled that and I done some experimentations. Um, I bought a selenium toner, I bought a sulfate toner and look what I've done. What to, first, what you need to know is that every paper delivers different uh, results. This is uh, my favorite is Fomatone fiber based paper. This is neutral gray, um, untoned print. Then I tone it with um, selenium toner. I got this, this um, purplish gray. Then I tone it with um, selenium, uh, with the sulfate toner. And then I, I combined um, in uh, dark areas, you can see the tones from selenium. And in highlights, you can see warm uh, peach kind of color. Um, from sulfate toner. I'll show you later how I've done it, but uh, first, but my favorite results is split toning with so uh, solely with a uh, sulfate toner. As you can see, the difference is the in in dark areas. Highlights are are basically the same color kind of color, peach um, peach yellow. But in dark areas, you can see that this is neutral gray and this is very, very much um, yellowish. What I'm trying to say is that I was fascinated with, uh, with the variety of tones you can get um, with, um, with um, split toning. And this is the end result in frame. So, oops. Um, so this is the end result in frame. I sold it uh, via Facebook. I sold three prints. Uh, each of them was uh, 50 euros if you want to have a framed with shipping everything is uh, 120 euros so email me if you're interested but but this lesson will not stop here here is the the print uh, that i toned um, this is actually i'm working on a project of reviving uh, skylight studio from year 1898 in Celle. and here are some results of toning i was doing some experimentations this is really strong yellow um, and here you can you may not you may not see uh, the the tone is not very obvious but if you compare it to a neutral gray you see it's very it's very it's very obvious um, so I love this kind of uh, subtle subtle tone uh, of, of sulfate toner very much this is hair. Uh, this is this is hair dried. This is uh, air dried, and uh, I will I will do split toning on this print to show you to demonstrate you how I'm doing it. So I I'm using this sepia toner teten from Tetena, but basically it's like every every sepia sulfate toner works the same. Um, so here is first step is to read the fucking manual. Um, here it says uh, 1 plus 4 to, dil to dilute the bleacher. So for split toning I'm using 1 plus 8. Why? Because I want to have a really weak bleacher. Okay, bleaching part. If you want to have a consistent uh, results, use the stopwatch. Especially for the beginning I would uh, recommend that you use stopwatch so you would get, you would get, you would know uh, what time it takes. Uh, so you can get a predictable result. So now the bleacher will stop, start working. And I leave it like from my experience, I leave it like for depends of, of the, but this, let's say half a minute will be enough uh, to get really gentle yellow. 25, okay, go out. This will be quite strong like this. Voila, look at that. <laughs> Look at that beautiful tone. 
Okay, the toning is done. Oh, by the way, uh, the sulfate toner gives um, gives a smell. The odor of a rotten eggs, I love it. You know, it's really great. It's really, it's really what you expect from from a proper chemical toning. That you have also from tetanol odorless toning uh, toners like, um, but that's quite gay, I think. I prefer I prefer um, classic sulfate toner. By the way, this is triponal toner, sulfate toner uh, uh, from tetanol, and this is odorless. But this is this is the real thing. This is classic brown toner. Check this out, isn't it great? You get completely two different tones of, of of color, and you can pick which one is your favorite. And that's what I love with these chemical procedures. Yay! Woohoo! Okay, guys. Um, we done um, sepia toning with sulfate toner, we done uh, selenium toning and we did split toning. While we were doing this a strong smell was released and my wife just complained about the smell. And my advice to you is uh, just blame it on her cooking. So everything will be okay then. So I hope I inspire you, I hope this top shit tricks um, is, uh, it was interesting. And um, yeah, split toning for president.